Can I get a hell yeah? That's right. I'm on the ferry to fucking Victoria. Well, Schwartz Bay. Then I'm taking a bus to Victoria. This is an old ferry. It ain't new, I'm telling you that right now. That one's a newer one. This thing looks like it's from fucking 1960. But that's cool. So, off I go on another super adventure. Uh, join me on my trip to Victoria. And maybe Duncan, I'm not sure. I won't know that until tomorrow. Uh, my flight, well, I was gonna come back on like the 13th, but the flights on the 13th are like fucking 200 something bucks. And then the flight on the 19th is 100 bucks. So guess what Jeremy's doing? He's staying in fucking Vancouver till the 19th. So yeah, uh, I'll run out of medication on the 19th. And uh, so I have to fly back. So anyway, off I go on another exciting adventure. Join me. with the driver of the red Chrysler 300 on deck two, that was the main car deck, license NK758G, would you please return to your vehicle? You left your battery on, all your accessories are on. Once again, that's the driver of the red Chrysler 300 on deck two, the main car deck. NK758G, please return to your vehicle and tend to your battery. Thank you. Well, I just doxed that person. Fuck him. double-decker bus to Victoria. Uh, there's like five people on the bus. Everyone caught the express. I'm in no hurry. I'll be going that way. And uh, I'll stick the camera here. 72, downtown. And you can watch the progress. I'm still at the ferry terminal, but uh, heading that way. Like I said, going the back route, taking the slow road, really dialing her down. 72, downtown. Let's do this. Well, the bus filled up kind of quick. I mean, you know, within like 20 minutes. Filled with a bunch of fucking kids. So filming off the front of the bus really wasn't like gonna happen. But uh, can I get a Jaya? Here I am in fucking Victoria. And uh, I got off the bus at 
Bay and some other fucking street. Blanchard. I, I don't know. Because there's a Korean fried chicken place right up the pike here. And uh, your boy's going to go get some fucking lunch because he's hungry. I've eaten here every time I've been here, ever since I figured out that this place is really good. And so I'm going to go get myself some food, cross the street, sit in the park, eat the food, and then I'm going to head up the pike to fucking video game store and a thrift store, because they're not letting me into the hotel for a while. So, well, till 3 o'clock, and it's af just after 1, so I got a couple hours to kill. Look, everyone. Victoria, B.C. Again. I made it. Chicken 649. Oh, hell yeah. Korean style fried chicken. Five pieces of original. Some potato wedges. Some sauces. Oh, they forgot the pickled radish. Ah, fuck it. Doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm going to chow down on this. I'm going to park across the street from the joint. And then I'm going to walk up the street, like I said, to the thrift store and uh, the video game store. And there's a coffee place up there. I might stop and grab a coffee. There's a pastry place down the street that way. But yeah, so day one in Victoria. Might head up to Duncan to visit my aunt and uncle. That's very much dependent on them. Uh, I will phone them tomorrow and... You know, it's all about fucking adventure, man. It's all about, you know, change and, uh, you know, adventure and, you know, living the dream. What's going on back there? Anyway, chicken time. Yet. Now, while I've showed this before, let's take a grand tour of my hostel in Victoria BC so there's a mirror here you got a mirror right behind me you can see some kind of a mask there's a mask up there on the wall right there I you know I wouldn't believe it but I have to because I'm looking right at it you got the fire escape plan that's a thing look a fan that's included a lamp no extra charge fridge which I might have to plug in I'm not sure no she's cold and then let's turn around and uh, I'll take you through the rest of the room. Well, there's this. Uh, you got uh, below bed storage. That's a premium area. You know, you could sleep another person underneath there, I think. Probably. Um, so there's this, right? There's the bed, right? That's here. Uh, that's all my shit there. And there's a view. Uh, this time it's of uh, a roof. So that's interesting. I've never had this view before. This is probably looking west. I don't I have no idea. So yeah, that's what you get for fucking, well, using my Expedia points for 60 bucks a night. So, you know, it's like a room at a Russian railway station. But uh, apart from that, I don't give a shit because uh, it's fucking cheap, y'all. And I'm not going to be here in my room, as a, this is just a base for me to uh, start at. I'm going to be out there doing stuff, experiencing life. There's another mask up there. That's a match set. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out and probably get an ice cream cone. Join me! Well, as per usual, can I get a hell yeah? I'm back at the fucking harbor again. Uh, there's the Empress Hotel. Remember when all the old-timey cars were there? Oh, I do. I do remember as if it was only yesterday. So there's the legislature building. There's a restaurant in there I wanted to eat at, but I'm probably not going to get to do that. I think I'm going to just walk around there. I don't know whether I'll get ice cream over there or get ice cream over there. Doesn't matter, really. Got a coffee from Hey Happy. It's really good, as usual. Still a bunch of tourists here, but they're not local, like, you know, Canadian or American tourists. These are like 
foreigners from a different country. Anyway, take a fucking soak that up into your old fucking noggins. It's hot out too, boy, howdy, let me tell you. But anyway, uh, so there's this, and uh, yeah, I need me some ice cream, and I don't know where to get it, so let's go find out. See, look, I'm sweating, like a whore in church. Well, here's a true story. It's not an interesting story. I stayed at that hotel, and the other side you can overlook the harbor. So, uh, stayed at that hotel during COVID, and uh, I think it was 60 bucks a night or something like that. I can't remember. I'm off to get ice cream though, homies. I've got a lot of good memories about Victoria. And I have one particular memory about being right in this very spot. So I had my hernia operation and then I came here, God, I don't know, like maybe, I don't know, a few days after my hernia operation anyway. And I was standing here and uh, I'd just walked like fucking 15 miles and I had a, like, you know, my seam was still really fresh down below and I was like you know I'm not really sure whether I should be walking 15 miles with a fresh hernia seam down below but uh, it's all for charity anyway so that's that's nice so here we are down at Fisherman's Wharf again but look at this so you got your I don't know what's going on there and there's that that's the Victoria Clipper I think that goes to um, Seattle I think it's the Victoria. I don't know. Fucking look it up anyway. So, so yeah, I uh, I was just at the Parliament buildings and I uh, probably didn't film any of that. I, I was live on Instagram, so you may want to uh, check that out as a companion piece. But uh, I may go to the restaurant at the Parliament buildings for breakfast tomorrow. So I want you to join me on that fabulous uh, journey. What's that in the water? Is that a snake? Oh no, there's one of those fucking water snakes again. I'm probably gonna go latch onto my bird as soon as I get anywhere near it. Uh, yeah. Remember, always use the right bait. Look, Harbor Airplane. I've been on one of those. Fact. I haven't had my ice cream yet. I did the responsible thing and uh, got some water. Jeremy's thirsty. These pretzels are making me thirsty. So I'm gonna drink some water. Then I'm gonna eat my dinner. Then I'm gonna have ice cream. Join me. Well, here I am out on the, uh, I don't know, is it a jetty, probably? There's something else. I'm not sure what that is going on over there. That's, I guess, the harbor. Oh yeah, this is where I landed in my airplane. I wonder if I can get down here. Looks like I can walk down there, but I don't know. There might be a way down up here. If there is, I'm fucking taking her. So there's this. I mean, come on now. I've been here before. I've took some footage here before. It's on one of my other Victoria trips. Google it. Anyway, more stuff when I get out there. Okay, so I am down here. Fuck it. I mean, it's not dangerous, because, you know, what is danger? Here come the big waves from a boat that just went by. What is danger? Not 
bad, how are you? Beauty day, huh? Oh, you bet. I just pet a dog over there, that was good. But uh, yeah, so here I go. That guy's walking this way, so why can't I, right? That's how she works. It looks like there's another dog down there. Maybe I can pet that dog too. I mean, you know, there's this, right? Ew, gross. And there's like kelp out there. I believe that uh, it will form into some unifying creature and come and attack me. But I believe I'm ho uh, I'm holding it at bay with uh, my manly manfulness. No. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going and maybe I'll get some more footage. Join me. The Surf Motel. I've always wanted to stay there, but there's never a vacancy. I've never seen a vacancy in that place, even in fucking October or November. So cool. Look at the view you get. You know what I'm saying? No? Nut bar. Well, ice cream mission underway. Look, I'm almost at sea level. I don't know whether I filmed here before, but I remember talking about kelp beds. Remember the kelp beds I talked about? Well, they're back in kelp bed format. Still haven't got my ice cream yet. The quest for ice cream is happening. But I gotta get, fuck, I gotta get way over there somewhere. Is that a seal looking at me in the water? Who knows? No, that's kelp in a kelp bed. This is uh, salt water. So, uh, log that in your uh, salt water uh, ledger. I don't know where I am. There's that Ogden Point thing that I walked along. Just kind of taking my time. I'm in no rush to get back to the hotel, trust me. It's 20 after 6. I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat like fucking cheeseburger or anything like that. I want to have something better. Don't know what I'm going to do. Not really thinking about it either. Tell you what I'd like to do. Fucking rock a piss. I wonder if I can rock a piss right there and nobody would notice. I don't know, there's a feller sitting right behind that fucking plank of wood there. Well, anyway. Uh, that's America on the other side of the water there. Take a good hard look at it because that's as close as I'm going to get to America. And I ain't kidding you. Well, the one slight pain in the ass about living in Alberta is this is so far away. Being from Vancouver, having this at your disposal, no wonder you're spoiled and fucking stuck up. Oh well, what can you do? Been sitting here for like fucking half an hour, just looking at this. Because why not? Large cotton candy flavor burst cone. I'm gonna have to take my fucking insulin right after I uh, eat this because I forgot to take it beforehand. I'm still hungry. This ain't fucking dinner. What's going on here? 
uh, <laughs> evening cutting through Beacon Park, I guess it says. I mean, I'll give you three guesses uh, what I'm going to do in this park. That's right. Use it. I got a fucking rock of piss. And I'm not waiting until I get back to the t hotel. Uh, took my insulin and my metformin. So, here's some geese. Honk. I've seen one, uh, what do you call it? Hey. Uh, okay, well. My battery died, inexplicably. I don't know why it dies so quick. Well, I do, because I'm filming. Uh, here's some ducks. Uh, as I said, I'm cutting through Beacon Park. Cutting through the park here so I can use it. Look at these ducks, they're here tonight in a live format environment. There's a bunch of them. I was accosted back there by a goose, but I don't think I got that on film. Because uh, my camera died. Uh, so, I'll tell you, Victoria is a magical place. It always makes me happy to be here. And it should make you happy that I'm happy. Honk. Honk honk. What you doing over there? There's a bridge, you know. Honk. Honk honk. I don't got no food for you. I wouldn't even know what to feed you if I had food. So, there you have it. Honk. It's really nice here. Oh, that one's got a big neck. Hey, calm down. Honk. Look at that one's neck. It's thick. It's got a real thick neck on it. I've taken a picture here before. By Howdy. Imagine living up there. That'd be something else. Anyway, enjoy this. This is just day one. This is just a little bit of a teaser for what's to come. Which is just more of me walking around Victoria, really, so don't get too excited. Join me! Well, it's dusk. And I'm walking through part of the park where... I'm pretty sure in the distance here, there's people sleeping and hobos and such. I can smell dope. Also, an addendum to the last uh, thing I said. Uh, <coughs> I rocked the piss back there, just so you know. I uh, live streamed it right into the bush. I streamed her right into the bush. and. Uh, I was here one time and I uh, was waiting for a bus over there to go to Duncan and I rocked a piss right over here in this bush. So this is a very well piss rocked area. I don't know, I'm going to cut down there I guess. Or maybe I'll just go this way, I don't know, fucking who cares. I'm going to go and uh, grab some snacks. I, I don't really want like a dinner so I'm just gonna grab some snacks and go back to the hotel and chill for a bit because tomorrow's a big day. Join me. <sighs> what did I get uh, for my snacks? Well that's easy. I went to the dollar store. I got fucking chips. I got pop and a bar. Chips, pop and a bar. Fucking that's what I have for dinner. That's the problem with being on vacation. You get sick of eating fucking someone else's food. So it's chips pop in a bar, plus that fucking ice cream cone I ate. So now it's chill out time, and uh, I'm gonna be a busy boy tomorrow. So join me. It's probably gonna be in another video though. Join the other video already in progress.
frog. Totem pole. It's the knowledge totem. The loon, fisherman, bone game player, and frog represent lessons from the past and hope for the future. Figure that one out. Anyway, so here I am back in the fucking harbor again. I'm gonna have breakfast. There, at the Parliament buildings. You can see the feller, he's putting up a rolling the flag up the old flagpole there. I'm talking to the knowledge frog. I'm here early though, it's fucking, I, I got 25 minutes to kill before I can eat breakfast there, so. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna go that way. Cut across the park and fucking head over to Cardero Bay where there might be a sea monster. I can't promise you a sea monster, but uh, yeah, maybe I can. Anyway, so I'm gonna kill some time. Uh, maybe walk around the Parliament buildings, do the old once round, see if I can see any famous politicians. We don't have any in Canada. And then uh, eat breakfast. Join me. Uh, while I'm waiting, I cross the street to uh, Canada's Centennial Plaza, built to commemorate the hundred year anniversary of Canada's like conception built in 1967 looks about right that fountain looks 1967 who's that guy in the background is that fucking Walt Disney he's been here for fucking 15 minutes staring at these plaques there's nothing to look at I mean there is but like now he's reading another plaque anyway so you got your uh, Symbols of all the different provinces. Nunavut, they put that one up recently because that's a recent one. But you got your Northwest Territories, you got your Newfoundland, you got your PEI, your Nova Scotia, your New Brunswick, your Cubic. There's this thing here. I mean, wouldn't you like to hop in there and just have a real morning constitutional? You got your Canadian Dewberry here. I don't know what that is, but that's good. It's like a plaque. The fountain looks new, but probably isn't. You got your Ontario. I lived there. Manitoba. You got your Saskatchewan. You got your Alberta. I lived there. Like this, my house. You can see my house is right, it's right there. I like how they put the mountains in. They're right on the border. British Columbia. You got the water. You got the sun. And your Yukon. I've been there. So, uh, yeah. It's the Centennial Plaza. Remember to come and visit when you're here in uh, Victoria, BC, Canada, British Columbia, <coughs> North America. And this tells you about the creation of uh, British Columbia. Uh, I don't know anything about that. They should have taught it in uh, school. I probably, probably did and I forgot. Is it time for breakfast yet? 15 minutes. Is there anyone over there waiting? No, looks like I'm gonna be the only guy eating breakfast at the fucking parliament building. Apparently after the after you eat, they give you your ID back. They take your ID while you're eating. Because boy howdy, in case you make some kind of a plot against the government, they got ya. I've got two IDs, so jokes on them. But um you can go upstairs and check out the rotundum and uh where the parliament people live. So I might do that. I got nothing else to do, really. I should make a phone call, though, to find out whether I'm going to uh, Duncan tomorrow. So, Dubery Pisser, Wiz Wazler, Bing Bang Dozzle, British Columbia. That was breakfast. I just had it. Oh, sorry. No. Deep in the bowels of the Parliament buildings. Gotta shut this off for security. Well, you may remember this area from where I rocked a piss last night, which was right up over there somewhere. Some peacocks down there. I don't know if you can see that. Fucking peacocks. 
Who'd have thunk it? So yeah, breakfast at the legislature, as one does. Uh, I'm uh, pumped full of coffee and ready to fucking walk up the beach there. Uh, hopefully I'll find out at some point, I'll get a phone call from my aunt and uncle and be like, hey Jeremy, come to Duncan, because, uh, yeah, I still have like a week and a half of being in the fucking British Columbia that I gotta use up. So, if I can spend two days there, or maybe even three, then I'm good. Because they, uh, they like having company. So anyway, I'm going to cut across this fucking park, Beacon Park or whatever it's called. Cut across that way, get to the water, and go that way. There's a fucking graveyard and whatever. I've done this walk before, but there is a slight chance at the very end of this walk, you may see a sea monster. There might be a sea monster in this, so fucking stay tuned, you dirty old shit. Yes, uh, you may remember this field from the famous video that I haven't made yet. Oh, wait, it's this one, called, Where Am I Going? And I don't know where I am right now. And this looks like a path. I mean, it does look like a path. So yeah, I'm trying to cut through the park anyway, so at least I'm running to, I think they've fucking, they might have given the bums rush to all the fucking hobos here, because a bunch of birds here. And this is a perfect place to rock a piss, too. I, you know, this is, the, look at this. There's even an indent where you can go right in there and do the bizzo. But uh, yeah, this is a perfect piss rocking location. Let me say that right now. So, yeah. I haven't seen, I've seen one tent. And one guy that may be a homeless, but I'm not sure. Didn't ask him. He had a bike, so that's a good sign right there. So, yeah. There's this. I might go live later too, man, when I'm checking out the sea monster, which may or may not be there, by the way. Uh, anyway, there's this. I'm trying to go ways I haven't been before, but once I get down to the water, you, oops, sorry. Once you get down to the water, you can't really do that. What the hell's that? What the hell is that? You seeing this, people? What is that? Well, Jeremy's scared. There's a couple of deer here. I don't know, they're in the city works yard. Oh shit, there's more here, right here, where I am. Can you see that? It's a wee baby. I don't want to scare them, but uh, they really don't seem that bothered. Of course, if mom's around, I'm gonna get fucking bucked in the head. There's mom right there. There's two over there, and there's one there, and then there's mommy. Uh, they're adorable, and they're doing deer things, but do I want to be in between the other two baby deer and that? I mean, these things do not seem spooked in the slightest, even by the tractor trailer that's fucking backing up behind me. Anyway, deer. Deer Peacock. Figure that one out. Or not. Well, I'm out of the woods, so to speak, and I'm at the beach. I think that's the boat that goes to Seattle. I don't know. Do the research. Uh, last time I was here, this was all under construction. I think they were paving that shit and putting up new railings and shit. I don't know how many people drove through that down to the fucking beach and died, but I'm not here to tell you those stats. But look at this. Like, fuck off. Like, seriously, forever go and fuck off. Like, see, if you live here 
And you you don't come here and take advantage of this every single day, whether it's pissing down rain or not. You're fucking nuts. Look it. This is the thing. Like, you know, born and bred fucking BC boy, all up on the fucking Victoria tip, telling you flat out that this shit is fucking gorgeous. I could say it once and I'll fucking say it a thousand times. You know, I wouldn't believe it, but I'm looking right at it. I have to believe it. And I fucking, I was born to cross the creek here to the other side. And, you know, I never started coming here till like five or six years ago. But tell me this isn't fucking beautiful. Like, I swear to God, I'd be sitting right there. If I fucking, I had a dream about a month ago. Now, I know everyone hates dream stories, but... I had a dream about a month ago that uh, I won the lottery and uh, I, I uh, went to Comox and paid off Brandy's place and then I was coming down here to buy a house to live in, probably a condo, not a house. And I woke up and I was disappointed. I, I wasn't really disappointed that I wasn't, didn't win the lottery, I was disappointed that I didn't get to pay off Brandy's place. But like if I was living here in a dream world. This is the thing, like, this is the kind of place where you work fucking hard and you fucking earn hard to get this fucking shit to look at. Hard earning. And I mean, I'll tell you, it would be worth it. It would be worth a five day a week, 40 hour a fucking day job if you could afford to live here. And I ain't kidding you. So anyway, fuck off. I'm going to go over there. That's the graveyard, so I'm going to deke up and cut through that. And then you can see the, the on top of that hill right up there somewhere, so there's the, plant, what do you call it? It's got a telescope in it. And then there's the Chinese graveyard, which I'm going to cut through and go over to the other side. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going that way, so fucking join me or not. I don't really care, but if you don't like this, if you think that there's a fucking problem here, it's you that has the problem. Not me. Wait. Me. Anyway. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. I'm gonna keep on going. That was a three minute rant. About how fucking gorgeous it is here. And it's not not gorgeous. Alright? No. Well, they weren't thinking when they uh, built this graveyard because uh, they used up a whole lot of property right on the sea and uh, these people are just dead. So, I mean, I'm not really sure that they're giving a shit whether they're on the ocean or not. But I guess the people who are coming here to see them, you know, like old Martin Smith and Mr. Dinning and this fella right here, whatever his name is, I guess uh, Mr. Radford, or Lady Radford, or whoever it is, and they're enjoying themselves, and that's what's important. The people who are alive are important. Oh, this guy's got a fucking anchor on his doobery here. Just gonna cut across Mr. Wood here, and good old Lindsay Karen doxing these corpses. Private James Branson. 7th Battalion. Look, this guy's got a fucking anchor on his doobry. That's pretty cool. And a rock with some kind of strange markings on it. It's possibly a uh, some kind of a voodoo cult. Who knows? And look at this. It's got like ship stuff. And this guy's got like a little bathtub to sit in. Beat Psalm and Eric Psalm. Here are resting. Hmm. Oh, and Berta Duffick. They're all crammed into the bathtub. Well, that's something else. I swear my shadow's across it. I'm ruining the shot. There we go. You just edit that out. And I saw some deer here last time having a fight. 
There's also a coffee place over there that I might grab a coffee from. I got nothing else to do. And I don't want to walk really fast and uh, start getting the old sweaty thighs, boy, because I'll tell you, they start chafing something fierce. You know, that, my year off, that lazy life of mine's putting the old meat back on the fucking leg bones, I'll tell you. So, I'm thinking I gotta, I gotta work at something to get, get the old chub down to a minimum, or else I'm gonna end up like Aspel Lawson or whatever that is, that guy. Anyway, off I go. Oh, there's some deer. Bucket. Let's go check him out. Look at him. He's over there. Deer in the graveyard. Deer in the graveyard. You see him? I'll zoom in. Using an electronic means. He fucked there's a car in the graveyard. He's got horns. That deer has horns. Deer in the graveyard. Deer in the graveyard. Anyway. I'm not going to zoom because I can't. And now he's like perfectly behind a tree. There he goes. That's a deer. I think a deer is a cross between a horse and a dog. It's an abomination of nature. Anyway, off I go that way. There's a deer talking to another deer. That deer looks real mangy. And its leg is sticking out funny. I don't know, maybe we're seeing some kind of a unusual scenario. Can I zoom with this? I can't. Maybe, maybe that one deer isn't really a deer, but some kind of deer-human hybrid. Some kind of abomination of nature. And the other one is trying to discern, trying to figure out where the zipper is to unzip the the deer suit, but there isn't really one because it's some kind of a crossbred man deer. No? Well, that's my guess anyway. Fuck it. Well, I'm here. I don't remember where this is. It doesn't matter. Let's go over and see this giant rock. So, this rock, I mean, the thing is, is the rocks are all scoured here from where the the big glacier fucking scoured them. And this big rock must have been left here by the glacier when it melted. Pushed it all the way from who knows where this rock came from. Uh, water looks real, uh, real nice. Uh, looking, it's green. Tide is coming in, I know that for a fact, but I'm risking this, boys. You can tell, actually, there it goes. The fucking tide's coming in. It's filling up this hole here. But yeah, I guess this rock was left here by the glacier. Carried along and dumped here millions of years ago, maybe, I don't know. 100,000 years? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, yeah, look at this. Water's coming in. I could have got out to that rock if I'd have got here earlier. If I hadn't stopped for coffee, fuck me. Like, what's my problem, right? I don't know. I can still get over the thing here. I'm going to go up and... Let's touch a rock, guys. Let's touch a fucking rock. You know, people talk about touching grass. Oh, man, I'm going to slip and die on this, aren't I? Fuck. But look, I'm touching a rock. That's me, touching this rock. Because I'm a human being on planet Earth. I'm not getting any closer to this lip, because I know this seaweed is slicker than fucking cum on a gold tooth. And I ain't kidding. Oh, there's some people out there kayaking or somethinging. I don't know. Let's go in that water there. Looks like something that came out of Fukushima fucking power plant. But yeah, I'm not going down there because I'll fall and die. Uh, yeah, this is, I don't know, maybe I'll put it up on the screen where this is. I've been here before. I sat over there and took some footage. 
you can see that in whatever video it is, I don't remember. I'm going to cut up those stairs right there. There's the observatory. I'm going to go around that way to over yonder. I got nothing to do, boys. Oh, hold on. Look, I can go over here. Go on this side. There we go. So I can fall down over here instead. Yeah, this is beautiful. And like I said, people should be enjoying this. Hard enjoying it. Like, just stay out on the beach all day. That's what I would do. I'd be a beach bum. Anyway, let's look at this rock. This could have come from fucking Ontario. Well, there wasn't an Ontario when it came here, but you, you get the idea. See, this is the thing. You're learning history for me. This is fucking great. It's great. So, yeah, I'm going to keep on going, but I hope you're enjoying this video because, you know, you got to live the life, man. Live the life vicariously through my video. All right, guys. Who likes uh, Chinese cemeteries? Was it chained up? Am I not allowed to go in? I mean, they're stopping me from going in? Really? Oh, I know I can get in. Don't ever, don't ever say that Jeremy Dever uh, broke the law. Well, actually, don't say that to anyone. I'll get in. Hold on. Told you. Uh, got your rocks over there. You got your thistle. Chinese cemetery right here on the water. I've been here before. You can check that out in my last Victoria video that I came here. I've been up on the hill. There's a hill somewhere around here, which I'm going to get to later. But, uh, I was just over there. I don't know, was I? Maybe? No? Uh, but now I'm here. The Chinese Cemetery. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jeremy, there's nowhere here to rock a piss. Well, you'd be wrong about that. Because I have rocked a piss. Not this very cemetery, but I've never been down this far to the water. So that's what I'm doing now. Whole bunch of seagulls out there having lunch. Look, another big rock. I guess that rock was dumped here by the glacier. Our friend the glacier. But of course now the tide's coming in, so if I went down there, I'd basically, I'd probably be killed. There's another big rock, Glacier. Well, I'm getting closer to the sea monster. You may doubt that there's an actual sea monster there, but I've, I've seen it. So... Uh, you'd be wrong and I'd be right, but I'll show you, it's fine. It's really nice here. Did I mention that? I should title the video, It's Really Nice in Victoria. Look! Look at the rock! And follow me on an adventure. Rock! You know, it's funny, fellers. And fellettes. I don't remember ever walking this way, but I must have, but I don't remember doing it. Never remember making this wander. Like, I remember walking that way, but maybe I came from that way? I have no idea. I don't remember. All kinds of weird stuff going on, though. I know that much. I'm getting hungry. It's fucking 12.30. I don't know where there's any food. Well, I'll find some. It's very pretty out there. Of course, it's pretty everywhere. I could look down here and it's pretty. Because look, flowers. 
Okay, off I go. Is that a seal? Or is it kelp? Or is it one of those sea snakes that's gonna latch on to my bird and just take her out to sea? We don't know. Well, I certainly don't remember golf course. So, I never went this way. I think I walked on the other side of the golf course. I don't know. Look at this, right on the sea too. I wonder how many golf balls are in the ocean there. Uh, yeah, so we've got golf courses in Calgary, but uh, uh, they're just all flat. I'm kidding, of course, because I'm a very funny person. Uh, so yeah, don't know what's up here, not a clue. Look at all these people, they're enjoying themselves, having a walk, hitting a ball around. Guy's having a drive over there. He's in the bunker. Some geese. It's a fucking riot. Oak Bay Marina. I'm right there. I've showed you that before in another video. I'm just sitting here chilling. I gotta walk all the way around there. And then around there's a beach there, and then I gotta go over there, and then walk around another beach, and then go over there. I don't gotta, but there's a sea creature over there, I can sense it. And it's coming in hot, oh, it's gonna just, right, it's gonna poke its head up and poke its head out, and you'll see its single eye staring right at you, right over there. I'm looking for a place to eat, but all the places to eat around here are either fancy or fucking like six blocks up the pike. And I'm not walking six blocks off my fucking main goal here just to have some expensive foods. So I'm going to go over there. I know there's a coffee place over there and there's a grocery store. Maybe I can sell, get myself apple-orange combo and uh, sit at the beach. Oh, this battery's going to die soon. It says 11%. Oh no, it says 33%. Uh, that's a little bit different than 11. But yeah, just enjoy myself. Like, check it out. There's this. I mean, this is the thing. You know, y y you're going to see a lot of samey shit. Just like in Calgary, you see a lot of samey footage. Look, someone was sitting here and had three cans of Black Label Supreme. Uh, it's the high test, the eight fucking percenter, boy. You get fucking six of those down your neck and you are off your head. Ooh, goddamn, that's like government level swish right there anyway oak bay this is the ritzy area of town uh, apartment in one of those places it cost you fucking a million dollars no no problem but uh yeah off i go anyway fuck it I, i'm gonna head around there and do the bizzo <sighs> come and sit under the learning tree and i'll tell you a little story about this very spot as we look at a blue heron, I don't know what he's doing, something weird probably, and a goose, several geese, There's one back there too. Uh, there was a crow there, but he's gone. Yeah, there's a blue heron. I don't even know if that's a blue heron. That could be another blue heron, or another kind of heron. So this spot, I walked along this beach before I ever knew where I was gonna move or what my future held. And I picked up a rock from Around here somewhere, maybe there. I don't know. It's on video. I've done it. And, uh, you know, I filmed it when it happened. And I carried around that rock, you know, as I was saving money and trying to figure out what my plans were and shit. And uh, I returned to that spot. All right. Well, I was rudely cut off. There's a couple of geese here. Check it out. So I'm going to repeat the story. There's a heron of some description in the water. It keeps having a bath. A uh, seagull. I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat the story because I have no idea when the camera finally shit the bed. I uh, I have it on silent, so it, when the battery dies, it doesn't tell me. 
Anyway, uh, so before I knew where I was going in my life and where my travels would take me, look at him. Um, I came to Victoria several times and had a vacation and I remember walking along this beach and uh, in this very spot, or well this general area, I picked up a rock to symbolize, you know, my, my journey and my, my you, know, I, I, you know, to symbolize the, the, the different paths that I could possibly take. And, you know, I was taking it because I thought, well, maybe I would never come back to this spot. And yet here I am, back at this spot, however many years later, three or four years later, I don't know, I, I filmed the picking up of the rock. It's, it's documented. In fact, I still, I think I had this fucking GoPro at the time. But, uh, yeah. So here I am back. I was going to bring a rock from Calgary and fire it in the, in the sea here to, to like kind of symbolize, you know, the, the two paths coming to this point. But I didn't do it because I'm fucking, I forgot. I don't think I picked up a rock since I've been in fucking Calgary. But yeah. So, here I am, back to a, a spot that was very formative in my uh, journey as a human being on planet Earth, and, you know, I still have that rock. It's in Calgary. Don't know where. Maybe I'll fire it into the Bow River. Anyway, thank you for joining me on that amazing story that I just told you. Uh, on my way to go see a sea monster, which we're gonna see, I guarantee it. What's going on there? So, how often do I think to myself, that's a path, and then I go in it, and it ends up like this. Like, you know, I, I like having adventures, but, you know, I've had like 15 spider webs in my fucking bush since I came up this fucking path. Yeah, 16. Fuck. I mean... Oh, okay. Well, at the very least, I'm out. Fuck. hearing a lot of crickets. 17. Uh, I don't know, is this the park? Because this just looks like an empty field. Fuck! I don't know if you can hear that, but... Uh, uh, I see people over there. And that looks like a path. So, yeah. I can guarantee you no one's following me. Look, it doesn't even look like you can get through there. It's a wonder I don't have a fucking tick yet. You know? This is the thing. I found a... I don't know what that is. Is that a raccoon? Well, I found a him slash her, they, them, sitting on the ground. That's mine now. Uh, there were a bunch of kids back there. Well, kids, like 12, 13 years. They're still kids, but like, they were like, oh boy, I, I'm gonna have an adventure. And I'm just like, yeah, you do that. Don't fall in the fucking drink. When I was having an adventure, well, I was doing the same fucking thing. Climbing on rocks, clambering around. Almost fallen and shit. Fuck! Jesus Christ! Well, my aunt hasn't phoned me yet, so... I'm not sure whether I'm going to Duncan tomorrow. But, you know, who cares? Because I've got this to remember Victoria by 18. Fucking another one right in the face. I don't know, there's, there's a telephone pole. 
On a fence. It looks like this is someone's house. Fuck me. I don't know. Anyway, more to come. Remember, we're on our way to see a sea monster. Cadborough Bay. I've been here before too. And there's my lunch. Apple, orange, water, and a cold brew. I'll show you the sea monster after I eat. And there it is. The great sea monster of Cardero Bay. Even the children do not fear it anymore. Observe <coughs> her in all her glory. I got like a three hour walk. Join me. Cutting back into town and I end up in the woods. Typical. I mean, I really don't know where I'm going. Kind of following the instructions on my phone, but I think this is the right way. What does it matter, really? I mean, like I said, I've got at least two hours of walking before I get anywhere close to home. I think this is the university right there. Cut through there before. Oh, I hear some strange noises coming from below there. Mm, Hilly billies again. It's nice to be out of the sun anyway. Actually, while I'm alone here, there's two things I can do. Apply a medicated balm to my nether regions to get that fucking thing from getting all chafed up. I can do that. And I can do the old number two thing, and that's rock a piss. Not a number two, not in the woods here. Even though you could anywhere. But here I go. Time to rock a piss and apply a medicated balm. Well, good morning. I'm tired from yesterday's 15 mile walk in full sun. Uh, you know, there might be some sunburnage happening, but uh, I can handle it because uh, I'm a, a man. So last night, uh, you know, I was thinking, shit, I guess I'm just going back to Vancouver today because my aunt hasn't called me from Duncan. Well, nine o'clock at night, and uh, she phones me and says, Why don't you come up to Duncan? So I have to kill till 3.45 here in um, Victoria before I catch the bus to Duncan. Oh. The hotel checkout time is 11 o'clock, so I'm going to wait till like fucking quarter to 11 to leave. And then I can just mooch around for a bit. Ah, i got to lug all my shit with me, but whatever. It's just a backpack, so it's not that big of a deal. Another good shot of the room here. There's this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just chilling, watching some tablet. Um... I ate my leftover pizza from last night, uh, and yeah, so you're going to be watching some Jeremy killing some time. I'm going to wander over into a squimult, so next shot you see is probably me wandering over into a squimult. Join me. Uh, here I am crossing the uh, bridge into a squimult. Uh, see, the thing is, this fucking coffee. Spilt it on my hand. Uh, I'll be. I'm catching a commuter bus, so it only comes into town in the morning and leaves in uh, at, uh, in the evening. So 3:45 is the first bus out of town to Duncan. The bus is public transit takes an hour and a half to get up to Duncan 
So, yeah, I get to kill five hours, basically. But I can do that. Anyway, there's a bridge. I've been over it before, and you've probably seen it before. I'm gonna walk along the water that way, which you've also seen before. If I can still get that way. I don't know, it looks like there's construction or something going on there. Fuck it. What does construction mean? Bridge, harbor, parliament building. See, this is still a working harbor. In, in you know, 50 years, these will all be apartments because they'll realize they can make more money off taxpayers than they can off a gravel fucking place. Anyway, fuck off. I got a coffee to drink. Hey, I got shit to do. Here's the shipyard. It's been here for like a hundred years. There's the turntable that they drag uh, ships up into the thing and then move them up into place. Look, they're fixing barges over there. I saw them fixing a uh, sea bus from Vancouver here one time. I think I took a photo of it. And there you see that what I'm talking about. They're building apartments where once there was probably a parking lot. Now, I can guarantee you that every single one of those apartments is going to be for sale and not a fucking rental place. Because this is, this is how British Columbia works. They start realizing that people will live here at any cost. So, they forsake infrastructure for uh, uh, living quarters and what you get is a shithole. I mean, it'll take, it'll take my whole lifetime before Victoria s it turns into a shithole. In fact, it may not even happen within my lifetime, but this is, this is the... You know, they've got a few years to catch up to how Vancouver works, but you can see. I mean, those apartments are gorgeous. I mean, who wouldn't want to fucking live there? That's the thing, right? You know, like, there's the harbor, even though it's a working harbor and it's going to make a lot of noise. Fuck it, you know what I mean? Anyway, coffee, walking, thinking, enjoying. The Working Waterway. Some words to live by, uh, spray painted on the ground here. I'm going to show them to you. So you got your, you got your, fuck bitches, get money. And then, you got bitches ain't shit, YOLO. So, that's words to live by, people. I can verify part of that, like right now. And also, YOLO. And then there's some kind of a note here. Don't know, man. Hey, maybe I should go down there into that swampy muck and walk. Oh, fuck that. There's one of the... Uh, Harbor taxis. I guess it goes to there. I'm not gonna get on that because I don't need to. I got feet, you know what I'm saying? No? There's the little area where I've filmed seals swimming around. Guess there's lots of fish in that location. Legitimately just killing time. This is what it's like to kill time. And look, there's a snail. And then there's a snail without its shell. And it's got three little dots on its back. Is that a slug? And then it says piss. This is the fucking... This, this graffiti's way better than fucking Calgary graffiti. Let me tell you. But, uh... I, uh... You know, I could have told this person that bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. No? 
I wandered over to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store because I'm basically out of t-shirts. As you can see, I'm wearing the same t-shirt I did yesterday because I didn't uh, pack uh, more than three t-shirts. So, so yeah. So I got three hours and 45 minutes uh, and I don't know what to do next. So you'll be finding out right around the same time as me what's going to happen next. Lunch? Coffee? Matt Bikeman riding his bike. <sighs> Moseying my way down to some burger place here. Graffito, as usual. Oh yeah, time's just flying. People picking raspberries. Anyway, I mean, you know, it's funny. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed about Victoria is absolutely nothing is close to amenities. I haven't seen a grocery store since I fucking got here. You know, I'd, I'd like to just pop in and grab an apple and an orange. But, uh, good luck finding that. There's this. But there's no grocery store. What's that guy doing running down the train tracks? Of course, it's not like these train tracks are functional. Anyway, burger, I guess, for lunch. Is anyone behind me? No? Anyone in front of me? No? See, that's a perfect place to rock a piss, right in that garbage pot. But I'd There'd be cyclists coming up on you way too fast for you to cut your piss stream off, which you can't do. Okay, anyway. Adventure. That was the best burger I've had in Victoria, and I ain't kidding. I've had a lot of burgers in this place. That's number one. When I first walked by, there were a bunch of fucking kids from high school fucking there. There were probably 30 people, but they dissipated pretty quick once they, sh once they saw me coming. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> anyway, we're rocking five after one. <coughs> All I gotta do is cut across the squimalt to the waterfront, that way, and then chill, because, you know, oh fuck, I'm good at chilling. No? Well, here's one for the books. First of all, I've never been to this park before. I've walked past it a million times, because there's a path right down there that I've frequented. But uh, there's a cruise ship there. Now, I mean, almost the whole time I've been coming here, cruise ships uh, weren't allowed here because of, you know, the thing that happened. But check it out. That's a big one. She's a, uh, uh, what is it called? Ovation of the Seas. Is that what it says? So, I don't know what the, what's going on there, but, you know, welcome to Victoria. No? Let's see if I can see this pathway I've taken. Well, there it is right down there. Never seen it from this point of view before. There's some beach, little kind of a... This is why Victoria is so uh, magical, because you get to walk along the beach and there's all these kind of... This. There's a, what do you call it? A Coast Guard boat right there. <sighs> Rocked a piss just up there. 
It's a prime piss rocking spot too, let me tell you. But yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll cut around and sit down there or... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I got... Go... Shoot. Two hours and 25 minutes. Whenever this goes. I mean, I've already rocked a piss, so I mean, I've utilized the park to its fullest. <sighs> uh, maybe I'll cut back through downtown and uh, there's a video game store I can go to. I mean, I don't need to. That's for damn sure. Anyway, fuck off. Look at this. More park. Look at this. It's, we don't have this in Calgary. I mean, we do, but there's no trees and it's just all brown. Boy, howdy. You know what? I'll tell you something right now. If you uh, just watched my live stream on uh, Instagram and then you're seeing this, you're just like, whoa, I was there live with Jeremy. Have I already filmed sitting here? Look, you got your sea life swimming around. I don't know if you can see that. There's all kinds of weird shit going on in this creek, pond, whatever it is. Imagine if you were stuck in there and stupid bullshit. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun here. There's the boat. You can see that. Sounds like an airplane is going to take off. I've never taken off from here before, but I've landed. Hey, that's featured in another video. Have I said this already? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so... Two hours before my bus leaves. That time's just gonna fly by, let me tell you. I'll wander back that way. I gotta be thousand meters down the pike in uh, two hours but uh, join me on my adventure you know, I'll get you on the bus I'm gonna sit try and sit right at the back of the bus so I get the real detailed view plus you know get that fishtail effect it's like an hour and a half bus ride it's almost like I'm a real person You know who's a pro at killing time? This guy right here. I just had a nice hour-long conversation and a walk along the water with an old lady who lives here in Victoria. Bullshitting, shooting the shit about life. And now, in an hour, I catch a bus. So, uh, I'm a professional and I'm nice to people and it doesn't cost anything to be nice. Well, I guess we'll end in Victoria, where I kind of began, uh, the Parliament buildings. But look at how crowded it is right now. Look at all the tourists and stuff. There's the museum. It's absolutely great. I, lo I love seeing all these tourists here enjoying themselves. I don't know, makes me happy. You know, being from BC and taking advantage of this like way out of tourist season when there's nobody here, it's nice to see this town fucking business picking up as uh, good old Jim Ross would say. So I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm like 40 minutes from catching the bus, but I'm just gonna chill here for a bit and watch the P Opal enjoy themselves and fucking just fucking live the dream, man. You know? Some people, this is their vacation for the year. So, you know, who's going to begrudge them that? Okay, well, next, uh, next video might be at the bus stop waiting to go to Duncan. That's a thing.
Duncan, BC. It's chin wagon on the bus with a couple people. I got a preserved guava candy out of it. Someone told me about a place called Ladysmith Bakery I need to go try. Fucking talking to lots of people, man. And they all kind of have something to say. But I gotta go that way. So join me on my walk that way. Welcome to Duncan, BC. Fucking hell. There's an old train station, and you know, when me and Brandy took the train up to uh, Comox one time, we must have taken, must have been up, passed right through town here. Right now, totem poles, right now the, the tracks are all rusty, they don't get used anymore. I think they were talking about that if they refurbished this line, it would be like some four billion dollars or something to fucking get it working again. But yeah, like, like I said, I've been on a train on this very track. Duncan, B.C. I'll probably show you more tomorrow. But yeah. I gotta walk up there to 4th Street, so I, I won't let you join me on that. They should turn that into a restaurant. There's my business fucking mind always at work.